Texas Wings on my back Stay lit like a matchstick We ain't coming back I swear Just let go And see what happens Gotta Let go To see the magic happen They got us a quick change So we like them in face I just bought a new watch Time to make my wrist ring The zero gravity Keeps elevating me Right, we've, first camp. We've got La Espanol. La in Spain, we made it. <laughs> Finally here. It, it is kind of, hasn't sank in yet, For but... Like 14 months. Yeah, <laughs> a very long time. And you can literally hear all the buzz. We popped into local restaurant for coffee and you can hear the foreign language and wow. <laughs> found this beautiful campsite. The views are epic. I feel like it's going to absolutely peer down with rain any moment. So we're going to crack on with setting up camp so that we uh, have somewhere dry to be and everything's yeah. done for this evening. We've booked ourselves into the restaurant, so. Yeah, we thought to celebrate, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Easy, let's go. Let's do it. Do you want that? Did it? Yes, All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Never get tired of that. <laughs> no. It's so cool. Da, 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 da. Look like gladiator up there. <laughs> Look at those views. Yeah. Is the mount on? It's actually quite warm, it's 18 degrees. Voila. Home is set. Look at the rain. How are you? <laughs> so we got about 10 hours sleep last night. <laughs> uh, definitely been lacking on sleep the last week. As we've been getting ready for this trip and everything with all with the uh, anxieties and things about getting all the the new paperwork and things you need right so but that was all done it was all fine oh. actually went really pretty easy didn't it it went very easy there was a lot of mental sport prior but yeah. actually it was very smooth Just when we came to it really something new anxiety kind of like exactly officialdom red tape in your mind um, but um yeah it was all right when we were at the border, even though we knew that we have all the paperwork, all the things ready, and I, I just said, just walk me through it. <laughs> I have yeah. no idea. So, and people were so helpful, so they just set you on the right course. So, I tell you what though, it is bloody good to be out here. Like, yeah. sat in the middle of the mountains in northern Spain, just outside Pamplona actually. Yeah. Um, it's so good to wake up. Well, I should say with the views. <laughs> we saw the views yesterday, but they'll be back hopefully later today. It's supposed to clear up, uh, which will be good because we're planning to mm. stick around here today, do some work because we need to work today uh, on the laptop and the phones and things. So yeah. hopefully the sun comes out, get the solar panel out. It'll be a bonus. And, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's so, 
it's absolutely amazing to be out here and it just that kind of feels emotional in some ways as well it's been a very long time and it's just stunning couldn't get any more yeah. all the fall colors as well and of course guys do please give this video a like you know subscribe if you're not already hit notification bell don't you miss our videos mm. all really helps us so really appreciated thank you and thank you for your all continued support it really does mean the world to mm. us cheers to that cheers guys oh it's for dinner chef hey, hey. <laughs> dinner with some views the, i tell uh, you camping favorites Where fish pasta oh great when you uh, want something quick and you're really hungry and uh, nice and simple. <laughs>yeah so you might have guessed it we've moved on a fair way uh probably about four hour southeast because we're heading towards the mm -hmm. Mediterranean coast so the landscape has changed loads from yeah. mountainous and foresty with all the autumn colors to quite dry and arid and now we're in the sort of desert region of monegros monegros uh, that's your yeah, best fun. this place <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's really good today we're on a mission which is pretty cool i think because we are looking for the destroyed town of, I'm gonna say it wrong probably, Belshit. It was destroyed in the Spanish Civil War, so that is our mission today, mm. taking all these interesting tracks. It's like something yeah. out of the Wild West. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I saw so many tumbleweeds. And of course, we're gonna get into the 12 volt setup that we are running for this project, Overland on a Budget Build. So yes, yeah, stick around, because we're gonna go through the details of that, why we've chosen it and what it is, etc. So yeah. Um, Let's uh, hit the road and see what we can find.
getting back on some of the uh, smaller, rougher tracks. I think we found it. I can see it in the distance. I recognize it from the uh, Google photo. Bell sheet. Look at that one at the back. Wow. Crikey. I mean, it looks so ornate. That one with a tower back. Totally. It's completely so destroyed. That's crazy. Well, 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 that was some pretty exciting trails across the desert there, more than we actually could have hoped for. Like, uh, didn't know what we were going into. Picked a trail that looked good on Wikiloc, had some good ratings, and there we have it. Some uh, epic little trails around there. Some great scenery to be had, and a few little challenges along the way. Well, we made it to Belchite, uh, the town destroyed in the Civil War in 1937, the Spanish Civil War. Uh, it was a tragic story, um, you know, up to 5,000 people were killed here during that time, civilians too, so it was quite a tragedy and um, Franco then ordered the town to be abandoned and a new town built next to it, leaving all the ruins as like a memorial, so um, that's what we see here today. Um, it's quite big actually, it goes stretches a long way back, um, more than you think. Okay, so before we get on and find that sunshine, let me go through with you the 12 volt system we have got for this project here today. So here we have the Nightcore NES 500. It is the middle of the range one of these units. You've got the N, uh, NES 300 and also the NES 1200, so it sort of sits in the middle. Um, we've, been have, we've been using this now for a couple of months on and off, what with the uh, patron camp out and now being in Spain for the best part of a week now. Uh, yes, so we've had a bit of experience with it. And I have to say, it's pretty incredible. Like we are running our entire life from this. There's no other leisure battery or anything in this vehicle. It's just a standard starter battery. So everything we do electronically is driven by this unit right here. That includes the fridge, you know, keeping all our uh, camera batteries charged for the GoPro, for the Canon, also charging our phones daily um, and also our battery power packs and things like that. Um, fridge being the main drawer because that is, you know, drawing all day. Then I seem to find that this is sort of lasting us, I say it lasts about a good 48 hours, at least with the amount of drawer that we use. Um, so you can obviously decide on uh, what suits it better, like the NES 1200 has twice the capacity of this so that would be like blimey that would be massive so you've got the options there obviously it becomes bigger then so this is a nice size because we also fit it in the drawer so it's nice and secure and the wires just go through the top there which is really handy we have a couple of options for charging this uh, the main one being which is plugged into now just plugged into the 12 volt on the vehicle and so when we're driving that charges back up uh, if you're down to like say 60 70 percent that's normally charged up within two three four hours the other option we have is the nightcore fsp 100 solar panels a folding solar panel um, and this you know we just i've put a carabiner on it and we hang it up on the side of the car and that has the same port for the input so if we're at camp for a day or two 
plug that in when the sun comes out instead and that literally like the other day we were down i think overnight we were down to 86 percent it was back up to 100 percent within the first hour of me getting out in the morning at like 10 o'clock in the morning so that was pretty amazing um we also run the laptop from it because i've got to edit of course and we charge you can either use you got an ac 500 500 watt constant or 1000 watt surge inverter on there but we don't we rarely use that actually um for certain things but normally i just use because we've got usb-c our laptop actually works on usb-c and um, there's a pd 60 60 watt port there which um charges our laptop uh, as as normal 12 uh, 240 volt would so don't even need it and it's more more power efficient there using that the nes 1200 has a PD 100 watt port if you need any more, but our laptop is happy with 60 watts, charges at the same speed as it would on 240 to be honest. Um, that we also charge our phones and things with that, so that's fantastic, really. Got this handy display, so you can see it's 97% at the moment because we've been driving across the desert, so it's charged back up. Uh, it says estimated time room, it says runtime 75 hours, but um, obviously it's adjusting for what it's using at the moment, which is very little. I've got the camera battery for the GoPro plugged in, so that's just drawing six watts. When the fridge kicks in, it'll probably draw at about uh, another an extra 35 watts, something like that, for that period that it kicks in. So the battery died you can see you've got another one in there now uh, so um, the fridge has also kicked in it's a good point you can see the output's gone up to about 37 38 watts with the batteries charging at the same time just shows you an indication there i mean when you've got the solar in and stuff you can easily see if it's bright sunshine sort of 60 70 watts it goes up to 100 watts you can easily see yeah, 60 70 uh, this time of year as well uh, going in so you've got more going in than you've got going out which is pretty cool and again like we're using fair we're quite heavy users i mean we have drone batteries and things as well which are quite a big draw we charge those on this christina's always uh, you know working on the on the mobile device so that needs charging a couple of times a day and this is literally keeping us going for a couple of days you know without charging and then as we drive we've got charge or we've got the solar which is fantastic so nightcore have sent this out to us for our honest review we are testing it uh, we started testing it back home in England and now we're on our month long trip in Spain a week in and I gotta say uh, I think it's fantastic it's covering us for our, all aspects of our electronic demands when traveling we're used to a regular built-in system in the vehicle but this is actually I think better than the simple version that we had in Molly because we only had a, a 100 amp hour battery that kind of simple split charge system and I, I think this gives us more power for longer to be honest and more charging options so it really is a win in that scenario I'll put a, a link to the website so you can check out the different specs on the different models and then you, you can see what sort of power demands you might need if you were thinking about buying one right let's get into the where we're up to in this project the total costs and see where we are because we're nearly getting to the finale of the, the costs now so let me uh, grab me notebook right so our previous total on the last video after the Lanagard was 9,243.68 um, and if to purchase the Knights Core this is the NES 500 that comes in at £365 and the Nightcore FSP100 solar panel that comes in at £256 uh, which brings our new combined total to 9,864.68 uh, very close to our £10,000 limit but not quite there yet we'll have to find out if we're going to break that next week or not uh, <laughs> Who knows? What do you think? Put it in the comments. I want to know. Do you think we went over, stayed under, or uh, pretty much spot on? Ah, I'm going to leave that one a mystery for now. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I must say it feels so good to get back out here across uh, the water into, into Europe, now in Spain and on our way to Portugal. Uh, I've got a lot more exploring to do here in Spain, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I'm sure Christina is too. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, yes, uh, please do give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're not already, hit the notification bell so you don't want to miss our videos, Ding. so coming out at random times now, so yeah, thanks guys for watching and uh, we'll catch you very soon. Ciao! Adios!